There's a fascinating debate in the Talmud about what is the most important verse in the Torah. One rabbi stands up and says, obviously the most important verse in the Torah is Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. The Shema, the ultimate statement, the motto of the Jewish people, the statement of monotheism. So the next rabbi, Ben Nana, says, no, the most important verse in the Torah is V'yahavta l'reacha kamocha shall love your neighbor like you love yourself. Because that's the foundation of all of the laws that govern our relationships with other people. And of course, yes, ultimately Judaism is about connection to God, but if it doesn't start with treating each other and acting in a loving way to other human beings, you can never get to that spiritual oneness and recognition of Hashem. So those are two good answers. Then a third answer, Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. He stands up and he says, no, here's the most important verse in the Torah. And he quotes a verse from this week's Torah portion. The verse says, That means that we have a daily offering that was brought in the temple. It was called the Korban Tamid. It was a daily offering. It was brought every single day of the year. Shabbat. Yom Kippur, every single day it was an animal sacrifice and it was brought once in the morning and once in the afternoon. He says that's the most important verse in the Torah. And I would say, what? Why is that such an important verse? It's a technical law about one of the sacrifices that took place in the temple. It doesn't even apply today. There's no sacrifices today. And at the time that this great rabbi said it, there were no sacrifices already. So what is he referring to? It's a very important insight over here something to take away. When we want to make a change in our lives, when we want to grow in some area, when we feel inspired, maybe you heard a great video that inspired you, maybe you went to a class, maybe you went on a trip to Israel, something that moved you and inspired you, and you say, I want to be a better person, I want to be a more spiritual person, I want to be a wiser person, I want to be a kinder person. That's amazing. But if you don't take that inspiration and right away concretize it into some daily act that you're going to do every single day of your life, not just when you're feeling inspired, but even when the inspiration is no longer there, you're going to plug away. When it's easy and when it's hard, when it's hot and when it's cold, you're going to commit to this action and do it every single day. That's when true, sustainable, transformative growth takes place. Without that daily commitment, it's not going to happen. And pay attention to that sacrifice. It wasn't just a daily sacrifice. It was part one in the morning and part two in the evening. And that's the secret to real spiritual growth. The secret to spiritual growth is finding something that you can commit to, something small, nothing huge, something a little something, whatever it is, and doing it daily, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. And if you do that consistently, even when it's difficult, over and over again, that's how you change and grow as a person. So yes, of course, the Shema, spiritual monotheism, connection to the oneness of God, that's incredibly important. And loving your neighbor as yourself, yes, it's the foundation of all of the laws that govern our interpersonal relationships. That's incredibly important. But if you don't institute a system of morning and evening commitment and sacrifice day in and day out of taking that inspiration and concretizing it into some action, nothing's going to happen. You're not going to grow and you're not going to change. I recommend to people who are serious about growing in Torah knowledge and growing in wisdom to carve out a few minutes in the morning and a few minutes in the evening to commit to Torah learning in some form, any form, it doesn't matter. It can be watching a video, it can be reading something, it can be reading a commentary on the Torah. If you're interested in suggestions, send me a text. I'll send you a hundred options, but doing it every single day, day in and day out with commitment. And that is the way that over time we grow and change as human beings. Wishing everyone a beautiful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem.